How is the balance popping with Crack Nets D? About to react to this vid. Apparently, DDG and Halle Bailey are officially done. They have broken up. And they are letting the world know they're broken up. And DDG gets dragged for comments over a 9 to 5. Goodness. Okay, let's see what's going on with these people that watch. Okay, you guys. So, get into this. So, Halle Bailey and DDG are officially over. Now, I'm not talking about rumors or anything like that. DDG took to his IG stories and this is what he posted. Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and heartfelt conversations, Holly and I have decided to go our separate ways. This decision was not easy, but we believe it's the best path forward for both of us. I cherish the time we spent together and the love we shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, <laughs> our love for each other Excuse remains me. deep and true. I wonder, were they getting into it over this baby? <laughs> about how much he want to put this baby on the internet. I wonder. I do wonder. Because I've been seeing that baby every single day of my life for the past several weeks. Every day. I don't follow them on anything. But I see this baby <laughs> more than I see any other baby. Um, so, just wondering. But I don't know. We are still best friends and adore each other. As we focus on our individual journeys and our roles as co-parents, we cherish the bond we've built and the beautiful moments we share. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your understanding and support. Thank you for your love and encouragement, DDG. Now that's cute or whatever, but I oh. really want to know what really happened to cause this breakup. Now, there were rumors and blind items going around for a while that DDG yeah, one, was think. cheating on Holly yeah, Bailey back to back, okay? It was several times that people were speculating that this man was blatantly not being faithful to the mother of his child. Now, these two went public with their relationship. And I said in that video, I'm pretty certain that he doesn't seem like a faithful person. So, would we even be surprised? None of these rappers do. I would never want to date a rapper. And you just hear what they're saying in their lyrics. They like fucking bitches and doing da-da-da. Like, it's not just, oh, this is what rappers do. This is what they 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 actually do. This is their lifestyle. In August of 2022, they had a son named Halo. I believe he was born around December of 2023. And coming up on his one-year birthday, these two are no longer together. But y'all let me know, what do you think? Did you see this coming? Are you surprised that DDG and Holly oh, Bailey are me. officially over and done? And what do you think the cause of this breakup is? Y'all let me know what you I think in the girl. comments. Moving on to the next story. Okay, you guys, so DDG has been fighting for his life because yeah, he made life. some comments during an interview about people having a 9 to 5. And people are not it feeling trolling? it. Take a look. Life should only be used to fund your own business. Like, I don't think question. nobody should ever get a job and say, I'm going to be the 10-year best employee of the year. Like, nobody well, should ever think that because if you ever late too many times, they're going to get rid of you. They don't care what you got going on in your family. They don't care about nothing. If I'm the business and you always late and you're doing this, I'm firing you. It's plain and simple. I don't, give, I don't give a damn what you got going on because I know I got a thousand applications and they're going to grind hard because they need this money to, to fund their business or just to work here forever. So I tell people all the time, I'm like, bro, you can't be stuck in no 9 to 5. It's nothing wrong with a 9 to 5, but it's like, it's what you're doing with the 9 to 5. You shouldn't be working the 9 to 5 to take care of your life for the rest of your life. Now, it's but if you want to do that, then you can do that. That's your, your business. You know, not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, and, and that's, that's fine if you don't want to do that. I don't know you why can't imagine. people feel like they have to push that on everyone. Some people want a simple life. Some people like mediocrity. No shade. because <laughs> It doesn't automatically mean you're going to have a mediocre life. But, um, you know, some people just, they don't, they don't aspire to work hard to be rich and to grind to the top. They're just like, mm, I'm cool having my government job or doing this and that and just living, you know, a, a normal life. And being that most of America works nine to fives, people were highly offended. And DDG baby tried his best to respond. This is what they said, and this is how he responded. Excuse me. Excuse me. Like this, the number one thing that pops up in my mind: if everybody is a business owner, who is working at the establishment? Exactly. Well, who are the employees? I know it's hard for some people to ever. believe, but there are actual people out here who are okay working a little nine to five, getting a check, and going to the crib. 
Facts. They don't want all the extra responsibility. They just want to get Facts. their bread and go on about their day. Facts. And then people talk about a nine to five like it's just disgusting. There are people out here that work a nine to five that make more than some businesses. If we gonna keep it a bean, no, that's there's true. Because not every business is nothing successful. Nothing wrong with having a nine to five. It's Let's the same thing it. that people be talking about when it comes to owning a home and renting. Look, I oh my god, you read my mind, guy. I swear to God, I was thinking of that. I was gonna say that that. People say the same thing about, oh, you should get a house, and they try to push that on everybody. Buy a house. You spend all this money on rent when you can just buy a house, buy a house. Nigga, I don't want those problems, and if you actually knew anything about home ownership, you would know what that comes with, and not everybody wants to deal with that. I don't want a house at all. I don't I don't want to be bothered, and I, 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 I don't want the responsibility. I want to call maintenance. I even call. Nigga, I'm getting on the website, put in the ticket for, for maintenance. <laughs> Anytime anything go wrong, they here, you know, within a few hours, fixing my shit and, and going about their business. I, I like that ease of life <laughs> i don't want to upkeep no yard i don't want to have to find a plumber when shit ain't working out i don't want to be bothered with that and and that's fine not everybody wants every responsibility in life same thing with kids i don't want to be bothered with you waking me up in the middle of the night i don't want to change no diapers i don't want to leave you through life i want to take you to school i don't want to do these things <laughs> Just not everybody wants every single responsibility in life. There are some responsibilities that you're just like, mm, I'm good on that one. You know, there are some responsibilities you can't avoid, obviously. You got to pay bills and do this, this, and that. But it's like, there are a lot you can't avoid. And it's okay when people want to avoid them <laughs> and make their lives easier. That is totally fine. I was just thinking that as he was talking. There are people out here who are okay with renting. They don't want all the extra Man. responsibilities that come with owning a home. Like let people just it. live their lives. And then a lot of entrepreneurs or business people out here, they do bad business. Terrible at it. This man is uh, responding to a clip off of my podcast, The Ordinary Podcast. Who got that Check it out. Um, and I said that I feel like people should use nine to fives in order to become their own boss. This comment was for people that aspire to be uh, an entrepreneur, to own their own business, make their own hours. And he also that ain't what you said. You didn't say for people who have that goal in mind. You said, I don't think nobody. You literally said that. Am I, am I tripping? I don't think nobody should just have a nine to five, you know, and just work that work that job for the rest of their life. You should be trying to work towards something. You, that's not. Now you're switching up what you said. That ain't what you said. I said in the video that if everyone's a boss, who's an employee? Um, in this life, there's levels. I feel like people should start off on a nine to five and level up and become a boss. And it's always going to be people a lot. So you're saying it now that people should do this. Workers. So there always will be people. Not working, everybody want to be a boss. I feel like no one should be working at a job for ten plus years. Is he he contradicted this. <laughs> you initially started off saying that, that oh, this is for the people who want to be entrepreneurs, but now you are going back to your original statement. No one should be... Boy, make up your mind. They make if you want to see more in life, it's just motivation. Don't take it so serious. I saw a video of DDG talking about a 9 to 5. Big on YouTube since high school. I didn't know who a DDG was until he started dating. Haley, Haley, have a, say her name, Bailey, the actor, the singer. And the only reason why he's still relevant is because she had a baby with him now. What the f are you even talking about? Okay, y'all. If you've that. never worked a Real regular personal. job, do not talk about nine to fives. Talking about some nine to fives should build your dreams. Bitch, we got bills. Okay? Sorry, we're not. Superstar, we sit on YouTube or Twitch all day. The f all right, now it's all you hate. <laughs> Wrap this up. Especially, especially y'all YouTubers who be doing this in high school. Kaisen it, any of them. Because mm, when I say that word, they they remove my sign. But any of them, any of these young men who been on YouTube or Twitch literally since middle school. Shut the oh, wow. Oh, why y'all keep acting slow? Y'all know what the hell I meant. If you don't want to be a boss, then don't be a boss. Work your job. I don't give a... Okay? I don't care, You should... You, you need... 
<laughs> this <is> still. <laughs> you need to articulate your points a bit better, my guy. I think that's the issue. But I do agree. Some people do get a bit worked up and they get upset when they feel like you're personally attacking them because they feel inadequate internally. Because you hopping on on TikTok to get mad at him and, and go off on, you know, what he's saying and, and his opinion, even if it is ignorant or even if he isn't wording it correctly. Like, who cares? If this was not my job, <laughs> I would not be talking about this at all because I don't care. If Even if I had a nine to five, a regular nine to five job and he was saying this, I, would, I wouldn't say anything about it because I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't care enough. I just can't. I don't understand getting on, getting in the comments for free and making videos for free to criticize these people and, and you know, talk shit when, about their opinions. Even if their opinions sound dumb, even if you don't agree with it, I just don't, whatever. I don't even know people you. People do it every day. Boss, employee, none of that. It's motivational. If you want to get up every day and go to your job, Good jolly, do it. Give a f I think I give a f And I used to work at TJ Maxx and Kroger. Just because I'm lit, rich, and handsome now doesn't mean that I didn't work a regular job. Why y'all hate me? And you're lying to chew. You're lying to f Stop playing with me. Y'all starting to piss me off. Y'all slow. Every time I say something, y'all act like y'all don't know what the f I'm saying. Stop acting stupid. You know what the f I meant. Me. Now, I think Mr. Daryl is trying to clean up because he's getting person. so much backlash from people. I mean, he said what he said. We heard him clear as day. So he might as well stand on it, okay? Because we all heard him. But I want to know, what do you have to say about... Everybody's just pressed, bro. Oh, this, you, do you agree with DDG? Do you I'm feel like no one should really bro. work a nine to five? Um, yeah. <laughs> Who, who cares about DDG and what he thinks about anybody's nine to five? Who cares? If you're happy working your nine to five, then work your nine to five. I mean, I, I I feel him on that. But at the same time, when you make certain comments, people are going to respond to it. <laughs> I mean, I personally wouldn't waste my time responding to it. Again, if it wasn't my job and I wasn't getting paid for it. But, you know, everybody's different. So, you know, who am I to say that, you know, people... Wasting their time doing this short. Sure, that's how you want to waste your time, I guess. People waste their time in different ways. So, whatever. I don't, I don't care. But, yeah. He he didn't word it correctly. And even when he was trying to clean it up, you you kept saying that no one should work a 9 to 5 unless you're trying to work towards. So, he just doesn't know how to, you know, convey his, his points uh, efficiently. So, that's nobody's fault but your own. I'm confused. <laughs> But anyway, the main point is him and uh, Holly are done. They are no more. They have broken up. So, yeah, very interesting. They had this baby and now, you know, she's somebody, baby mama. Wild. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.